want to support me, go to Nene Marie 37 on Instagram and purchase you a signed copy of my book. You want to support me, go to TikTok, follow me at Trenches News 3837. Go and check out one of the best audio books out on Spotify, Vita Nocturnal. Make sure y'all go and check it out. Yo! It's your boy Trenches News, and I'm back at y'all with another one. I appreciate all the support. Thanks for everyone who subscribed to the channel. If you ain't subbed to the channel, make sure you do. Make sure you join the membership. Shout out to all my mods. If you ain't following them, you can follow their ads at the end of this video. Remember, if you got anything extra, food, hygiene, clothes, bag it up, take it outside, and give it to the less fortunate. Remember, we all one step away from being homeless. Mother Nature could come destroy everything, and now you're homeless. So make sure you get back. With that being said, let's say the kids, the women, the elderly, the neutrons, and the civilians. Happy Friday to everybody. Make sure you keep your head on a swivel. If you ain't got to be outside, don't be outside, man. There's people out there like thieves in the night. They willing to kill cops and everybody, man. So make sure you're safe. Look out your window before you go outside. 15 minutes. If you don't see the bush move, then it's okay to go outside. With that being said, I got one story and one story only, y'all. I got Chicago rapper Lil Dirk, man. We talking about Lil Dirk. Make sure y'all smash that like button so this video can get around. All right, y'all. This from the United States Attorney's Office, Central District of California. Chicago rapper Lil Dirk. Charged in superseding indictment, alleging murder for hire plot to kill rival near Beverly Center Mall in 2022. A Grammy Award winning Chicago rapper has been charged in a superseding federal grand jury indictment, alleging he conspired with others to murder a rival rapper, resulting in the shooting death of rival, the rival's relative that occurred at a gas station near the Beverly Center shopping mall in Los Angeles in August 2022. And the Justice Department announced today, Dirk Banks, 32, also known as Lil Dirk Blood, and Mustafa Abdul Malik of Chicago. Damn, they said his name, Blood, too. Is charged with the one count of conspiracy, one count of use of interstate facilities to commit murder for hire, resulting in death, and one count of using and carrying and discharging firearms and a machine gun and possession such firearms and furtherance of a crime and violence resulting in death. Damn. The indictment adds two felony charges against Banks, who previously, previously was charged via criminal complaint in the case. The four-count superseding indictment returned late Thursday as Banks as the leader defended to a previous indictment return October 17th and charging the following defendants in connection with the August 2022 murder. Cameron London Grant, also known as Cuz and Vonnie of Atlanta, DeAndre Dontrell Wilson, 33, also known as OTF Didi, of Chicago. Keith Jones, 33, also known as Flocka of Gary, Indiana. Dave and Brian Lindsay, 33, also known as Brown Eyes of Ad Addison, Illinois. And Austin Houston, 36, a.k.a. Boogie of Chicago. Banks was arrested October 17th near Miami International Airport after law enforcement learned that Banks had planned to book Ben Book. His planes have been booked on multiple international flights. A federal majesty judge in Miami has ordered him jail without bond until he is transferred to Los Angeles for an arraignment. All six defendants, none of none of whom has yet entered a plea to the charges are expected to be arraigned in United States District Court in downtown Los Angeles in coming weeks. According to the superseding indictment, in, in 2010, Banks formed an organization called Only the Family OTF, which, among other things, produced and sold hip-hop music from artists primarily from Chicago area. OTF also acted as an association, in fact, of individuals who engaged in violence, including murder and assault at Banks' direction to maintain their status in OTF. Banks fruited with the victim identified in the court documents as TB, which is Rondo, the fuel steam from a November 6, 2020 murder in which an associated of TB shot and killed an OTF rapper named Davon Bennett, also known as King Vine. Bennett and Banks were close friends. In response to Bennett murder, Banks allegedly put a bounty on TB's life. On August 19, 2022, several OTF members and associates used two vehicles and work in a tandem to track stalk and attempt murder of TB for hours, accumulating in a shooting at a gas station located near the Bradley Center Mall. The co-conspirators used multiple guns, including machine guns, and fired at least 18 rounds at TB vehicle striking and killing him, identified in the court documents as SR, who was TB's family member who had been traveling with TB. Banks allegedly ordered TB's murder, and the hitman used money from Banks and OTF-related finances to carry out the hit. Banks 
banks and a flight record show that an OTF member and a close associate of banks coordinated and paid for five co-conspirators to travel from Chicago to California on the day the murder. Around the time the one-way flights were purchased, banks told the OTF associate booking the flights, don't book no flights under no names involved with me. The same day the hitman traveled from Chicago to California, Banks also traveled to California in a private jet with another co-conspirator, Calvin London Grant, 28, also known as Cuz and Vonnie. Later that day, Grant allegedly purchased ski masks for the shooters to use to commit the murder pay using a credit card in Banks' name for the co-conspirator's hotel room. Mr. Banks is charged with orchestrating the cold-blooded murder that resulted in the death of the rival's family member, said United States Attorney uh, Martina Estrada. Martin Estrada, not only that the shooting occurred in an open gas station, but a busy intersection endangering many others in the area. Violent gun crime as a sword is devastating to our community, and we will have zero tolerance for those type who perpetrate such callous acts of violence. The apprehension of Mr. Banks as he attempted to lead the United States and once again proved that FBI and the extraordinary partners at the Los Angeles Police Department have a long reach, said Alki Davis. Assistant director in charge of the FBI Los Angeles field office. No excuse can justify this violent act. And let be clear, while you're going to, while you're going about your life thinking you got away with it, the FBI is piecing together the facts that will serve as you un, as serve as your undoing. Cases like this that span multiple states and jurisdictions are complicated and can sometimes often only be resolved through the collaboration of multiple departments. Said Los Angeles Police Chief Dominic Cho. This arrest is a cum accumulation of the combined efforts of partners, U.S. Attorney's Office, the FBI, LAPD operations, West Brewer homicide detectives, include surveillance, uh, authoring numerous search warrants using forensic technology and tireless investigation, travel, and collaboration alongside our federal partners led to this arrest. I am appreciative of the dedication of these involved. The other five defendants are in federal custody in Illinois after their initial court appearance in Chicago. They remain charged with one count of conspiracy, one count of use of interstate facilities to commit murder resulting in death, and one count of using and carrying machine guns and possession of furtherance of the crime of violence resulting in death. An indictment contains allegations that the defendant has committed the crime. Every defendant is proven innocent and to proven guilty. Yeah, that's some bullshit. Hey, yeah, man. They supersede the indictment, man, and hit Dirk. They said he the leader. Y'all get in the comments and let me know what y'all think. I will be going live in a minute, man. I will be going live in a minute, man. My man is my nine. Hey, happy Friday to everybody, man. Make sure y'all stay safe. Um, Most important thing, man. Make sure you know where your kids at. And if they out in the streets and ain't listening to you, being a knucklehead, make sure you get life insurance on them. So when they do pass, you can put them away properly, man. Other than that, y'all be safe. My man is my nine. Hey, shout out to Made Media Magazine, man. I'm mad.